from Milwaukee. This is today's TMJ4, live at 10. Right now at 10, Custard Compromise, an agreement reached between a Latino group and a custard shop owner after his English-only only policy served up controversy. I'm planning on going to Leon's after our event tonight. The owner of Leon's Frozen Custard said his English-only policy was to speed up lines. But it turned away and even offended some customers. Rebecca Clough live at Leon's where tensions have thawed. Rebecca. Charles and Carol, people should not be boycotting Leon's. That's the message from LULAC. In fact, its president says he's going to come here tonight and get some custard. Customers are lining up outside of Leon's. A few are back here for the first time in weeks. Kayla Jimenez says her mom and grandmother had been staying away. We're Hispanic, so that's why we didn't come. The League of United Latin American Citizens announced this evening it reached an agreement with the owner. We are pleased that Leon's Frozen Custer is concluding a thorough review of all personnel policies. Leon's also agreed to drop its English only policy and allow its workers to speak whatever language the customer speaks if they're able. A policy some are applauding. I feel like it should be up to the worker who's working if they should speak Spanish to the customer or not. But others say the owner should be able to institute an English only policy with his workers. Inside his doors, he has the right to do whatever he wants because it's his business and he can run his business the some way he wants. Some. But they're happy he made the change for his customers and the neighborhood. Now, Lulac says they never made any calls for people to boycott the business. So if you are staying away, they encourage you to come back. For now, reporting live on the South Side, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. And it looks like a busy night there. All right, Rebecca, thanks. New